In this video I'll show you how easy it is to uh, fit a mill slide onto our lathe. Um, obviously it's all drilled out but I'll just show you basically how it all goes together. First thing to do is take off your tool post, your compound mount. That's just held on with a couple of screws on a Chinese lathe. And we're talking about Chinese lathes here really because they're really good for putting mill slides on because they've got a nice flat cross slide, plenty of room and uh, you don't have to feel bad about drilling holes in them because they're not very expensive but they're a good little lathe I reckon OK, undo two screws off comes the compound mount we'll get that out of the way and you can see top of the cross slide wipe off the oil so here's the two holes that held the compound mount in on the unit, the original and these three holes here are the ones that will hold the vertical mill slide on. So I'll get the vertical mill slide. Right, well here's the vertical mill slide. It's just a generic Chinese job. And you really have to try and get one that's the right size for your lathe. This is about as, as big as you want to put on this lathe. This is a 10 inch swing and this is a good size but as you can see it, it fits on the cross slide just nicely put in your bolts just held on with three bolts whoops one more to go down in Davy Jones's locker and bolt her on. So now we just do up the do up the clamps. When that's done, she'll be ready to go. Do up the last bolt. So that's the thing. If you got a lathe. You want to be able to use it so don't feel bad about drilling the old hole in it and cutting a thread. It's cast iron. It's a machine after all. It's not anything that you're going to fall in love with. So they're there to be used and that's the whole name of the game. So don't feel bad about bolting a bit of stuff onto them. So there you go. Mill slide. Oops, I've got that. Now I've locked the gibbs down on this. Unlock them. I always lock them when I use it so there so you've got good travel this has got a nice big flat plate on it you can put a good size object on it t-slots going both directions under the clamps at the back there's a clamp here bit more and you can in a minute <laughs> swivel the unit in in a whole range of positions so that's good too so yeah if you get a mill slide they're a pretty handy gadget you can uh, make all sorts of stuff on them even as I showed in my other videos and the reason I'm setting it up this time is you can make gears with it on a lathe, no problem. So, uh, yeah, have a look at my gear videos and you'll see um, how easy it is. See ya.